it's wildly troubling. It's wildly troubling to see people cheer what should be a deeply grave decision based on massively impactful factors. Like the, the erudite and astute discussion around abortion is always, it's always weighed down with the concrete blocks of rape and incest and victimhood and oppression. And the reality is just like, actually though, I was in a club bathroom and wanted Coke. And can we stop pretending for a fucking second? Like, you know, all the cameras are off. All the cameras are off, you goddamn bitches. You're just in the bathroom at the club and you wanted Coke. And while you bent over to snort some, you said, I'm not wearing panties. Just don't bump me too hard. Like, I got it, okay? We all know it's somewhere north of 90% of abortions are abortions of pure fucking convenience. It's abortion as contraception. It's a horrifying thought to me. My wife and I wanted eight kids. Well, <laughs> let's, uh, let's rewind the tape there. My wife wanted eight kids, and I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I have a sibling. Eight sounds like a lot. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but that was the, you know, that was kind of the, our, our, we're just married. Well, I think we discussed it a little bit before getting married, but we're just getting married. We're just starting life. We're so young and you see so much opportunity ahead of you. She comes from a large family. Uh, and I, you know, I, like I said, I have one sibling and so, but I don't care. Like doesn't, doesn't, uh, I mean, the hell, I think past a certain point, you're just, you're just trying not to, not to die every day. But our initial plan was for more. We ended up with five. Uh, we did have three, uh, miscarriages early on that I've talked about. I'm not going to belabor those. Uh, and, and I, I'm not one of those people who's like, well, if we wouldn't have had those, we would have had eight kids. Cause like, you don't know with each one of those, how life would have changed going forward. Uh, it's, it's impossible to tell. But that being said, um, you know, we had three miscarriages. Then we had uh, a long period of, of having real trouble getting pregnant. And then we had our five. Uh, once the floodgates were open, they were open. It's great. And they're, they're fantastic. But every single one of them, all eight of those, were very conscious and intentional decisions for us. We went into it with with import and desire and compassion and hope. The choice to bring life into the world. These weren't flippant pregnancies for us. None of them could have possibly been. Everyone was a desperate plea to heaven. Please. Especially after those first three, please let this one work. I, I can't even express to you the joy of, of our first child being born after all of the issues that plagued, you know, our early life together. Um, to see people discard life uh, like it's a... Like it's a bad pack of cigarettes or something. is so foreign to me. It's deeply, deeply disturbing because it's not a one-off. You know? It's, it's, not, it's not like, well, there's one sociopath out there who's just like, well, whatever. They don't matter. None of this matters. It's a huge number of people. Who just look at life as if it, it isn't anything. And that uh, the granting and taking of it was always within their possession. It's, it's not. There's, 
It's not. 